somebody had suggested we put an overhang up here, and I think I know a couple ways to do that that might work. This is where I really wish we had like vertical slabs and stuff in Minecraft, but. So whenever I've seen overhangs in Minecraft before, they're usually on a larger scale and they would be in places. So we would end up covering this up, but it would be something like this. And I don't know if I necessarily like that. We could try a stair here instead. So we could try to do something like this. But I don't know, we'll try, try this. The only other thing I can think of is to use, excuse me, is to use trap doors. But we shall see. What is it that you call Elkhorn uh, Cosmic Dancer? Can't remember. Yeah, that's a hard no on that. That looks like garbage. Absolutely not. That's the kind of thing in Minecraft where they're just they're, the blocks are just too big, and for me it just doesn't does not work. The only other thing I could think of would be something like this, right? That's the only thing. And I think that's probably going to also be like a hard no. I mean, we'll try it just to see. Am I making a bumbo? <laughs> no, <laughs> certainly not intentionally. <laughs> That's better, but still not great. We could lower it and see what it looks like if it was low down, but then I think you're going to lose, you're going to lose the, the stair that's in there. Cause so we could try this, just remove this. Go lower by one and then, oh no, that doesn't work because then we can't do the, yeah. Okay. Well, that's out. Uh, I'm still not crazy about this. I want something to come out here. I want something to stick out. I think I just don't know how to do it yet. We might have some ideas from other sections of the build and then come back back and do that. I think those are all the little floaty bits everywhere. So that's not too bad. Uh, I think the thing to do is going to be put in the other roof and try to bring this this build up to speed on both ends. Potentially put windows on these as well if we decide to do that. I feel that that's probably something we're going to do. Makes sense. And I, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this bridge. Not entirely sure. So that, if I remember, was done on the inside. I only just had to remove remove a few things. And if the bridge is staying, then the floor would be just a little bit lower. I, you know what? I haven't fired a crossbow. I, I explore the snapshots for uh, for the spawn chunks for the podcast, but uh, I actually haven't bothered to, to even fire a crossbow. Speaking of, there was a new snapshot that came out today. Has anybody taken a look at it? Seen it? Anything to report? Nothing. None of the headlines really seemed interesting to me. Just pillager stuff, you know, villager updates, AI updates. I was looking at some of the bugs and one of the bugs was that you could put levers and buttons on the bottoms of hoppers. And I really wish they would word these bug fixes better because to me, it sounded like you used to not be able to, and now you can, which would be awesome. Except for, I think the bug was that you could do it and they fixed it and put it back so that now you can no longer put buttons and levers on the bottoms of hoppers, but you can put, um, whatchamacallit, uh, lanterns under hoppers, but you can't hang, oh. Uh, you can't hang lanterns from uh, from anything sideways, which to me makes no sense. So there's all kinds of stuff about the game that I find really inconsistent and the bugs don't help. They don't really name them very well. Uh, what was I doing here? I wanted to do this thing where we do this, 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 and this. 
dirt, dirt, and then the stairs. Am I out of stairs? Are you serious? Grab a solid block. There's something very satisfying about putting the tops on these. I don't know what it is, just it feels very finite and done, even though I still have more blocks in place. I just, I like it. Uh, slabs. There. There. Whoa, not there. Not that it really matters, but maybe I want that slab back. It was a good decision to raise up that other, um, that other tower. I just hope that I have not built these now too high. Like I kind of, I was kind of worried that this was going to be where would be better if they were lower, lower still. But for now, they were, I guess the easiest decision to make was to keep them the same as the old, the old tower height. And I think there were stairs somewhere. I think these are stairs here, there, and there. And then the way that I did these trap doors is that I did every second one was on the inside. So we have to remove some of these. And these are here on purpose because when you're approaching the bridge, you see more trap doors than not. And so then we can take this out, take this out. And then these ones we will put on the outside, but you have to put down like a temporary thing first. Well, you don't have to, but I feel like it's a lot easier if you just um, put down like a temporary slab floor like here. I did play around with making these walkways like three wide, but they were just too flush with the, the outside here. Wasn't my favorite thing. And so we'll do this, that, and that. So this is a fun trick to create like a nice railing for your walkway. These new trap doors really lend themselves to it. Uh, I use it for bridges all the time. If I had these inside here, then then having just like a a half block space to get to, you end up having to like bank like go back and forth and back and forth, and it sucks. Whereas here, you can line yourself up here and then just go straight down, and so it's not the end of the world because everything on this side has to be flush. We can't have them staggered. It's just an optical illusion. If you look at them over here, these ones are actually all flush with one another, and I believe they're all on the outside. So we'd have to do the same thing again with the slabs, and that is to do a little fake wall here. And then we just line these up with their, their friendly neighbor across the way like this. And then we do this. Um, but the thing here is that we miss out on having, on having, um, oh, this is supposed to be a, supposed to be a stair. I was like, why does that not work? So we miss out on having uh, these ones, but you don't really notice it. It's not the end of the world. I think we we're going to put windows in these two, were we not? So how far is that other window? It was a one and a half blocks up from potential walkway. So it was here. So a window here would actually be there. I guess we could put small windows over here. Like we could do this. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we do just a slab. That could be better. That's going to create some asymmetry for sure. So same idea. I don't think this ladder is going to stay here if this is where we put these windows. But I think we should potentially have windows pointing up and down the bridge, which makes a lot of sense. 
And I'm hoping that these light little windows look good. Like I'm hoping that doing this actually adds a little bit of variation to the build stuff. Let's try to grab this and put that here. And there's just that one more on the other side that we can't reach from here. I'll have to do something about the torches. I don't like being able to see the torches. We just put them higher. It's not a big deal. Or we could hide like a pumpkin or something in the roof. Redstone lamp, something. Ooh, do we like being able to see through? I don't know if I do. I think maybe. Hmm, maybe we don't put a window on each side. Maybe that, I like, this one's okay because of the shutter. But I'm kind of wondering, maybe we should close these up. If we can, somehow. I don't like being able to see straight through. It makes them look weak. Let's put that up there. And let's put a trap door. Where is this gonna be? I guess we would put it here and shut it down that way. Get a little bit of color. I mean, no one's really gonna be up in here. This is more about what these look like on the inside. And we could also do that, just completely close it off. That might look okay. So I still don't like being able to see through it. And that still feels pretty hollow because of how far back it is. And there would be no way to put it in there because that's two half blocks and you can't do a half trap door like that. So this is like a mimic of the other window. It's just that it's lower. Hmm. <laughs> What do we think? Do we like the high windows or do we like the low windows? They look weird in here. I can tell you that. They look weird on the inside. I don't think slits are the right answer either. I don't think that it, it's going to look good with just like a, a really little window. I think it might not be the right, right solution. Actually, you know, I like that better than the, the shutter. I think I like that better than the shutter. We'll have to figure out something to put in between. Uh, this would be an excellent spot for a banner. Like these, these two blocks right there would be an excellent spot for a banner. So we might try to do something like that. That could look cool. Like imagine if there was a banner and the banner was under that. Like that could look really cool think that actually pulls the windows down right like that looks we might end up moving this we might put it out like that with the banners but for now i'd say that's an excellent excellent solution to all of this oh i wonder out of curiosity while we're popping these things around i know that none of the other woods are going to look good but i'm wondering about the oak like the other darker ones not but is that maybe different enough Hmm. I think that has just enough gray in it that it's okay. Just enough gray in it that it's okay. Something I could do is actually line the bottom of some of these these roof lines with with trapdoors, give them a little bit more depth. That could be what we end up putting along here. So I think the other thing that we have to try to decide to do is is whether we want this this walkway, this pedway thing to be in here. So if this is what it looks like when we're walking through this place. This is feeling kind of sparse now because of all the brown on the other side. So we'll have to see what's up. Interesting, interesting. It's not bad. I have to say, I'm not... It doesn't ruin it for me having two walkways, one on either side of the bridge. Let's take a flight and see, see what she looks like from afar. So we need to fill in the side of the bridge. This is the, the non, the non filled in side over here is, oh, Trees are in the way. I 
Yeah, it's okay. I, you know, like it doesn't... It's neither good nor bad. I guess it does give you an extra sense of depth because you can see the different shapes. So let's keep it for now. So the other thing I know that's missing from this build is uh, the, I guess, merging it into the ground. It's very haphazardly just kind of like placed right on top of everything. So I think I want to take a break from the towers and uh, start to make this feel a little bit sturdier at the base. We might even grab a couple of different kinds of blocks and try to make it feel a little bit more part of the landscape here. Uh, you know, things like taking a slab or some cobblestone or something and doing stuff like that. Um, maybe adding in a little bit of dirt around them. Those sort of things are gonna help. We might even be able to do something like that at the bottom. We'll see what we can come up with for making these things feel a little bit sturdier at the bottom. And what else are we gonna do? I think that might be a good a good next task and that might be the last thing that I do on the stream today is, is just kind of try to get the bases of these feeling a little bit more solid. Like stuff like this, we'd wanna replace with the brick. So I am going to fly back over to the inn and we're going to take another quick break, short one this time, and then we'll come back and try to put everything in place at the base.